Hello and welcome to Biology Interest. Today we're going to be looking at the t-test. So the first step in doing the t-test is to write a null hypothesis, like always for all statistical tests. For example, a null hypothesis for this investigation where we'd use the t-test could be there is no significant difference between the mean diameters of limpets from the upper and lower shore. So that's what our null hypothesis is. And in this case, we're using limpets as an example, but it could be the mean something of, of anything, really. As long as it's comparing two means, that's what a t-test is. So in step two, you need to choose the correct statistical test and then justify why you chose that test. As the diameter is a continuous variable and the difference between the two means is being compared in this investigation, we are comparing the we are using the t test because we're comparing two means and seeing this if there's a difference between a factor that affects those two means for example the upper or lower shore so step three calculate the value of t using the formula mean of x1 minus the mean of x2 over square root of variance of variance of one squared over the number of limpets in one plus the variance of two squared over the number of limpets in two. So x1 with a bar and x2 with a bar means the means the means of the limpets from the upper and lower shores, s1 squared and s2 squared are the variances from the upper and lower shore, and n1 and n2 are the number of limpets measured on the upper and lower shores. So now we have got our value of t. So we've calculated our value of t. We now have to interpret the test statistic. And that's going to be step four. So we have then need to look at calculating the critical value of t to compare the value of t we just calculated against. And to get the critical value of t, you have to do n1 plus n2 minus two degrees of freedom. As there were 12 measurements were taken for each site, for example, the number of degrees of freedom for this example is 22. And at 22 degrees of freedom for our example, the probability of the limpet being less than 0.1% uh, probability is 3.792. So we calculate our, our degrees of freedom just there, which is 22. And we've got our value of t. Let's say our value of t has been calculated at 7.458. And as 7.458 is now greater than the critical value at 0.1% probability, uh, which is 3.792, so 7.458 is bigger, so our value of t is bigger than the critical value. This means that there's a less than 0.1% probability that the difference between the means is caused by chance. So we can reject the null hypothesis and say that the difference between the two means is significant. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos from Biology Interest. Thank you.